hey y'all welcome to my channel i am back with a hair tutorial and if you're interested in learning how to do this pushback style stay tuned I got my girl Jayla here with me and she did come braided so don't mind it I told her to come braided because we had a lot of stuff to do we had new arrivals to shoot today I was like girl come and braid it so we can do do, -do. yeah get to it okay so y'all I went ahead and gelled them edges back with the got to be gel same old same old and then I went ahead and put this ball cap on her head and trying to tuck these big old no shade Jayla but trying to touch <laughs> tuck these big old braids underneath that cap now that I have those braids tucked far far away underneath that cap I went ahead and cut those ear holes out yes you're going to want to cut the ear holes out for both sides and once you've done that you're going to want to get your glue today i am using bowl hole i did change my ball cap method up a little bit i don't only use the got to be spray i use my glue as well so i'm going to go ahead and put the bowl hole active right in front of her hairline in which i can see because if you have your light on really really good close to your client's head you'll be able to see it. exactly where her hairline starts so after i go ahead and apply that glue i start using the back of my comb to just you know dab that glue in a little bit so it's not all built up on the cap and i'm gonna do that on the other side as well once you've gotten that all situated you're gonna want to take your got to be spray and just go ahead and spray on the back side of where you have applied that glue and you'll see that the glue kind of like the got to be spray won't go ahead of the glue it kind of provides like a little perimeter ultimately we're spraying that got to be spray for that extra security just to make sure that ball cap stays on there real good and firm so after i'm all finished with the glue and got to be spray i went ahead and put my client up under the dryer for 15 minutes you can also let your client air dry you can even use the blow dryer it's really up to you and the equipment that you have but after we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and cut the ball cap so i start by the ears and i just start cutting it off cutting it off just follow along with me as we cut 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 it ain't nothing to cut that cap off snip 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 oh now as you're doing your fine cutting to the ball cap make sure don't cut the skin because yes you're getting real real close to the skin so watch out because you don't want to cut your clients now that i have my ball cap balding it is time to hot comb the hair on the lace so what you're going to want to do is hot comb the hair back on the lace just to make sure that none of the hair get stuck in the glue when you actually are applying that lace dun, dun, dun. the moment we have all been waiting for time to apply the lace the fun stuff well all of this is fun but i love this part so yes we're gonna go ahead and apply that lace making sure oh that hairline look good yeah making sure it's all fitted and in the right places so you're gonna want to make sure you adjust the lace so that to see what suits your client you know you don't want to have her looking all helmet heady me you guys know what i mean like you know what i mean of course you're gonna have to cut to make sure that that lace fits properly because the ear tabs is could be a killer let me tell y'all because if you have that lace right near them ears them ears will be burning so you're gonna want to make sure that you cut that lace far far away from the ears so that your client wig could just sit on her head comfortably and of course you're going to want to do this to both sides because what you do to one side you must do to the other side let's repeat what you do to one side you must do to the other side and i just recommend overall to take your time with cutting those ear taps out because you want to make sure that your client wig is securely on her head and she don't have them burning ears because i'm telling you the lace is so irritating especially when it's like on your ear so 
trust me it has happened to me before where i've had a client literally stay she had a headache because her lace was too close to her ear so i started just really cutting my lace far 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 back so that you know we don't have those Problems. Enough with the story time. Of course, it's time to go ahead and take your alcohol and clean right along the lace where you're going to apply the glue. And make sure that you get all, like, if your client does have on makeup, because I be asking my clients to come cute. Like, girl, we can make some content come cute. So make sure you get that lace, that, I mean, that makeup, that dirt, anything off of your client's face before you actually apply that glue because otherwise your lace will not stick properly. Here you just see me going in with my first layer of bow hold. I am going to go ahead and apply about six layers I believe I did not put all the layers on here but I did put a few on the camera I recorded a few um I did record all of them ultimately but I didn't include them in this footage because I'm just like y'all want to see me applying layer after layer after layer but I did apply six layers ultimately and after you apply each layer you're just gonna want to wait until that glue dries clear before you apply the next layer okay and we're just gonna coin ultimately as the word of the day because damn i just said that crap three times ultimately <laughs> like damn it's the boho glue it is recommended on the back of the bottom that you use up to seven layers you don't have to use up to seven layers but they recommend to use at least you know not at least the most being seven layers of glue so i go ahead and use about six layers of glue because ultimately gosh geez Y'all, I just keep saying it, but just bear with me. <laughs> it's the word of the day now, all right? I don't need to hear nobody selling me out in the comments about me keep saying that word because it's the word of the day, okay? But like I was saying, I use about six layers because I just want to provide my clients with the ult <laughs> ultimate hole. I'm going to say it loud and proud, ultimate hole, because you don't want your clients with to be slipping back. You just don't want to do that. That's a no-no. I like my clients' week to last three a month at that. Like, I want them to have the option of wearing their wigs for a longer amount of time. Like, wig installs is going up. Like, you got to give them the quality install for that price, okay? Inflation is happening. So, you got to, with the price going up, the quality got to go up, too. Six layers later, and boom, it's clear. So guess what? It's time to lay that wig on down. Lay it on down. Lay your head. Eh, eh. Lay your wig on that head. Eh, eh. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. Oh, lay it down. Lay your wig on that head. Eh. Okay. <laughs> back to it yes that would be five dollars go ahead and cash at me at bendy <laughs> or better yet you could support a real girl and buy a lace band from us because these lace bands surely get the wig melted so you might want to cop one anyways you can go to vanityaffairco.com and type in vanity melt bands and get you one so you can melt these wigs just like me because it's 2022 and we're definitely going for the wet lace look like for real for real for real so while that lace is further melting you're going to want to take your parting comb and begin parting that curved side part so in order to create the perfect illusion to this pushback hairstyle you're going to want to get a super deep curved part and this is how i do it perfect every single time Thanks for a little trick, Malachi. Um, basically, you take the part and comb and you start like at almost to the top of the eyebrow, but not at the top of the eyebrow. I mean, you can assess your client and see what suits and what fits your client. But um, for my client, Jayla, I felt like it would look good if I started closer to the top of the eyebrow, but not at the top of the eyebrow. So I start that part and then I, after I get the part where I like it, I just start cure curing it and just trying to get it all flat. You're going to see this transform from humpy dumpy to super sleek. <laughs> and we are using a lace frontal wig 
from vanityaffairco.com. It is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig. It is a HD lace, 180 density, and the texture is vein straight. And I um, promise you girls, this is going to do the trick. It's going to last you a couple of months, <laughs> a couple of years, really. I got a bunch of wigs in the closet that I could still throw on to this day. All right, but this does the trick. And I'm just parting the track off in the back so, you know, the track's not showing because it is a lace frontal wig. It's not a full lace. So, but it does the trick. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. So, you could cop this online at VanityFairCo.com if you're looking for a wig to get this sleek, nice pushback look with. Anyways, when you get the part exactly how you want it, you're going to want to cure care all around and use your hot comb to get that real sleek okay so what you're gonna see me do is once I got the foundation set up I'm actually gonna go ahead and part little sections off and clip it and use my cure care wax stick to really get in between and get this wig super super flat I was actually watching one of arrogant Tay videos and I seen him do this and I literally adapted the, the technique and I've been doing it ever since and I just noticed that my wigs get super super flat like whoa enjoy for the next few seconds while i get this wig from humpty dumpty to super super iron board super flat okay pancake outside in a AMG, right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside all the niggas proud me i did it die gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by i'm outside in an AMG, right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me In here, I'm just taking the comb and adjusting anything that I see may look a little off because I need my part to be super, super crisp. But like, no hair. Yeah, I won't need to see that. I need that part to be super defined. So if you do see your part not super defined, if the hot comb done stole some of your hair from the other side, yes, take your comb and put it back where it needs to be and get that hot comb and ride a tat Okay? Outside in the AMG, right outside, PT, two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, right in the dark. Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Now that we have everything situated with the hair, it's time to take that melt band off. And trust me, I will be back with that hot comb, but it's time to cut this lace because one well, want Jayla head to fall off with that damn elastic band. So I'm taking my little part and I'm going to part off her baby hairs and try to get that all situated but i'm not about to do the baby ears right now i'm just trying to see what i'm gonna do yeah but i'm trying to see like how this is gonna come out like i'm foreshadowing the future you see then i'm just also getting that part situated you're gonna see me playing with this part but the part has to be perfect because that is the foundation for this push back hairstyle you want to make sure that the part is correct and that you got your baby hair like what's gonna be your future baby hairs in place right like you need enough you need enough to do this pushback effect so just watch what i'm doing here and take notes because this is what you need girls for this pushback like to get the look to look like how it looked in the beginning this is very very essential told you i was gonna be back with my best friend this hot comb is your best friend here i'm just showing you guys what the part should be looking like and the part that we're actually going to use for the baby hair is now that we have that established it's time to go ahead and clip those on back and it's time to cut 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 cut, cut that lace off because what it ain't nothing to cut that lace off snip snip oh snip snip oh yeah 
So I am using my razor at first, but you're gonna see me switch between using a razor and the scissors because honestly, if you got a sharp pair of scissors, they work just as good as the razor. And I personally just feel like the scissors allow me to get those little tiny, tiny pieces, especially these small sheer scissors. They're like really tiny, so I can really get where I need to get with them. And you're really gonna wanna take your time because once that lace is gone, there's nothing that you can do about it, boo. Like all you can do is cry about it. So just really take your time and cut properly make sure that you're not cutting behind the glue make sure that you're cutting in front of the glue right along the line make sure you're getting all those little tiny pieces up out because if you can literally see like it's a trick to see like whether the glue is applied to the hair and lace um, if you can literally see like where the lace itself doesn't have any glue on it and it looks like it's just lace by itself, you're going to want to cut that off because there's no glue applied to that part. And as soon as your client leaves, that crap is going to start lifting like. So make sure you get as close to the glue as possible, but not behind the glue. Like make sure that you're like right in sync with where the glue is. We went on a rant about that, but that is truly very important. But you did see that I did apply like some spritz. I like the little extra firm hose spritz in a brown bottle. I went ahead and applied that and I went ahead and tied my melt band back because it's time to melt 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 after you cut that lace it's time to melt again and while that lace is further melting i'm just gonna take my hair and straighten it i already kind of straightened this hair off camera y'all like well not kind of i already did straighten this hair off camera so i'm really going through and just touching it up like making sure it's silky but look at this hair look at the quality of it like look at it all i use was oil sheen and straight baby blitz like that's what you call quality hair okay and now that we press 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 the hair it's time to take off the vanity melt belt and it's time to get to the monumental moment like everything leading up to this we've been building up to this moment so you guys know what it is you guys know what time it is it's time to do the baby hairs and i'm gonna get my parting comb and i'm just gonna part out that little piece that we established earlier y'all know y'all know what time it is because we we are not new to this we're true to this we already been working on this since since day one since since you clicked on this video to learn how to do the pushback we've been working on this ladies like gals guys we we we're here we're finally here since we started with a great foundation everything now is kind of already mapped out for us so you're gonna want to take that first little section you're gonna want to take it to about the arch of your client's eye and then you're gonna ask your client to hold that because girl like you need to help me too like i'm not gonna just be doing your hair you just sitting there <laughs> nah but no ask your clients to help you hold that real quick or you can use a clip or you can braid it if you don't want your client to hold it but i'm pretty sure your client will be willing to hold it and if she got an attitude to her excuse me you gotta get you gotta go you gotta come on you gotta go we can't be gaining them with no attitude like we're supposed to be friends like what you got an attitude with me for anyways you're gonna want to take that hot comb once you get those baby hairs established and i'll be blowing on the hot comb a little bit because you're getting a real deal close like you're really pushing it now like so just blow on it a little bit don't spit now nah, don't spit just blow blow <laughs> blow like don't do too much okay but you're gonna want to push that onto the back and then take that hot comb make sure it's flat because this is part of the foundation of the push bag you gotta push it on back and hot comb your hair for it as well and once you've done that you're gonna want to take your mini iron and just curl those hairs on back so i really just take my iron and hold it i rotate it one time and then i hold it and I hold it for about, you know, 10 seconds. That's it. Not too much. And then I drop it. After I'm done doing that, I take my tweezers. And I just go ahead and pluck a little bit. Like, I don't want to 
fuck too much because I do want it to look full. Like, I want it to be there. Like, I want it to be in sync. Like, in the future, I might try, like, plucking a little bit more with this style. But, like, I like how it looks when it's pretty full. Like, I just remember getting this style so much in high school. Like, with a traditional. So, I'm really going for that traditional look. But, with a wig, okay? And I did take my scissors and cut at a slant motion. I start with, like, the beginning of the baby hairs being longer and the back of the baby hairs being shorter. So, that's what I mean when I say cut in a slant motion. And y'all see me hot combing the hair forward. That's what I mean as well. And now that I got the baby hairs all cut, I just take my iron again and I curve them baby hairs on up. And now I'm using my mousse. I'm using Nairobi mousse and I'm using my favorite. Like, this is my favorite brush. It's a red kiss brush. I don't even think they sell these in the store no more. But, like, I promise y'all I got, like, four of these brushes and I will literally cry if they went missing and i do ask my client again to help me by holding a blow dryer just so that she can help me lock those baby hairs in place when doing these baby hairs i do start at the top of the baby hairs i only really apply the mousse to the top of the baby hairs and i use my finger to hold the bottom like since the hair is already kind of curled it kind of just really lays in place you guys are going to see what i'm saying when you attempt this style so i really rarely touch the back of the hair until like it's further dry like you'll see me touching it to make like make sure it's like filled in between you'll see me playing with it a lot to make sure like the baby hairs itself is filled in between and i noticed that i want to make the swoop a little bit lower like for the baby hairs like i want it to be a little longer so you'll notice that i do go back and i'll part out some more hair and just ultimately make that swoop a bit bigger for that pushback. After I have cut that additional hair that I did take out, I took some additional Nairobi and I added it to that bag just to fill in those little gaps. Like you'll see that it has like a little differentiation. And with this pushback style, you're trying to make it look like almost effortlessly going into the hair. So you don't want it to have no gaps in between. You want the hair to look full from start to finish. So with that being said, I just went ahead and parted out a little bit additional hair, which you've seen earlier. And I cut it and I swooped it on back with the remainder of the hair. And I, you know, made that swoop a bit bigger as well. And a trick that I use with doing the baby hairs is that I don't actually use the brush portion. I do use the brush portion, but not as often as I use the comb. And I don't even use the comb, really. I use the tip of the comb to actually go ahead and brush that baby hair into a nice, neat line. Because I feel like the trick to this style is just all sleekness and neatness like sleekness and neatness is the ultimate goal and look for this style like it's a very nice sleek precise hairstyle took a little minute with that first baby hair but now that i'm satisfied with the first baby hair i go ahead and do the same exact thing to the second baby hairs and y'all see i really begin in there about my hairstyle like girl i'm getting on my knees trying to make sure these baby hairs is perfect like so i went ahead and did the exact same thing to the second baby hairs i cut it in a slant work motion and i am now going ahead and swooping that on and again i put my finger where i want the swoop to start and like for the most part the beginning is straight and then i swoop i curve it curve it with my finger and i swoop it to the back just to create that little, you know, that curved swoop on that side for that side baby hair. And you'll see what I'm saying because I'm going to turn her towards the camera. And I'm still really not satisfied with that first baby hair. But y'all will see. I'm going to go back in and get it all connected. And eventually, like, 
I'm playing with it now, but eventually it's gonna be what I want it to be. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see. Yeah. In order to lock that baby here in place where I want it to stay and where I want it to be, I used some got to be spray and I just sprayed it to the back of the baby hairs. And I also used my comb just to hold that in place. And I, me and Jayla is double teaming, tag teaming it right now because I got her using the blow dryer to lock it in place. And I did just get a wax shirt real quick. Um, you can also use a silk scarf. We have those online as well. But I use a wax strip real fast because um, I just want to go ahead and cut this off and be done with it. While I have those baby hairs molding in place with the mold strips, I go ahead and use her foundation just to create that nice precise curved line. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace with the parts in that foundation. I'm going to go put that foundation right in that part and create that nice precise curved part once i'm done with the makeup i use my got to be spray and i just spray it over where i did apply that makeup to that part now that we're done with that it's time to cut that wax strip off and of course you're just gonna want to see what's going on with the baby hairs and make sure everything is in place i took my comb and yeah i write a tat 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 and got everything back in place where i want it to be and after I do get everything back in place where I want it to be, I just go ahead and adjust. I ask Jayla what she think. Like, she's feeling it. I'm feeling it. The girls are feeling it. Then I add a little bit more makeup to the part that was covered up with the black strips. Yeah. Just to make sure everything is just super, super neat, super nice. Everything nice. And I get my hot comb, of course. My best friend. And I go back over it just a little bit. But we're done. Like, we're finished. The girls are here to slay. Really loving the final look of this hairstyle. And I really love this hair overall. Like, this hair literally looks like it was dyed black. And I promise y'all, this is how this hair came freshly out the pack. It was not dyed. Like, all I did was melt the fire out of that shit i try not to cuss this whole video but it's, <laughs> that shit is fire fire if you watch this video to the very end make sure you like comment and subscribe tell me how your style came out but i do got a special code for you guys if you guys want to get this wig from vanityaffairco.com use coupon code youtube and save you some coins because mwah, mwah, mwah. love you thank you for watching this video to the end comment down below if you attempt this style and let me know how it came out hope you guys have fun slaying the girls